Hey everybody, today we're going to go over something that was brought up in the comments of my previous video, which was the Ultimate Lightweight Linux Distro. Before I started that video, I was actually on my Gecko desktop, and I had quite a few comments that said, how did you get your desktop to look like that? And it's rather easy and it's simple. So what I'm going to do today in this video is go over the steps that I took to make my desktop look the way it looks which if I go ahead, I'm in GNOME boxes, I'll go ahead and minimize OBS and minimize boxes. And this is what my desktop looks like. I've got the panel down here floating. It's got the rounded corners and it's transparent. I've got a great wallpaper that I just got off of online. And what we'll do is we'll set this wallpaper to look just like the sign-in screen. That way this matches what your sign-in and logout screen will look like. So, what we'll do is we'll zip back on over to GNOME Boxes, and I am presently in KDE Neon, because it comes with the most up-to-date version of KDE Plasma, and we will go through the steps that I took to make my desktop look that way. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'll go ahead and close out of Firefox, and right now we've just got a standard KDE wallpaper that comes with the system and matter of fact I'll go back to Firefox I shouldn't have closed that out and what we will do is we'll just go randomly find a beautiful wallpaper so what we'll do is we'll go what HD wallpapers pull that up we'll go to images and find us a good image to put on the background now what I like to do as well let's go ahead and open up our folder generally what I do here is just create a new folder that basically states my wallpapers let's create a new folder and I'll call it my wallpapers and there we go and we will go over here and find us a cool wallpaper now what I want is something that's popping and comes out really nice let's go HD wallpapers mountains lake let's look that up let's find us a good looking wallpaper here Let's go with something like that, and it's 2560 by 1440, so that'll work. Now let's open that in a new tab, and there it is right there. So what I'll do is I'll just right-click and save as, and go over to my home and my wallpapers and save it. Now, what you'll want to do is go ahead and close out of this. Go ahead and right-click, configure desktop and wallpaper. Let's go ahead and add that image, and go to my wallpapers, pick that and apply now if you scroll all the way to the top your picture will be at the top now what it will do after you close out of this and open back up whatever the name of it is it'll be actually alphabetized down here and that's where you'll be able to find it so let's go ahead and apply that one and there is my wallpaper right there now what do we do about the login screen well that's where we go over here and open settings and what I want you to do right here is go ahead and go to SDDM, which is your login screen. And right now you'll see that all we have is Breeze. Now I want to get a different login screen. So what I'll do is go down here and get new SDDM themes and go to show highest rated. And let it do its search and it'll bring up some really nice login screens now I do like the sugar candy login screen that might be something that you all want to go with but what I presently have on mine is this one right here which is sweet so I'm gonna go ahead and install that and we will let that download it is there now so we have it right here so what I want to do is go ahead and pick that one and apply it now the next thing you want to do is come over here and see where it's got the little picture Go ahead and click that picture, and it says no image selected. Let's load that from a file. Come over to my wallpapers, and it is now set. But you have to come down here and click apply. Now, I was going to show you what it looked like. Let's go ahead and shut down. But what KDE Neon does is it automatically logs you right back into the system when you log out. So you can't see that login screen. But now it shows it. So it just made a liar out of me. But that would be your new login screen right there. So let's just go ahead and hit enter. And it should take us back to the desktop. So now your wallpaper matches your login screen. And let's go ahead 
and close out of this. So you've got your wallpaper set. You've got your login screen matching that wallpaper. And I'm sorry it was showing smaller because it doesn't take my resolution from desktop and carry it over to the login screen. But if you've got it on your KDE, you'll be just fine. You won't have any issues. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to work on the taskbar. So what we need to do is come down here and just right click, enter edit mode, and go to more options. And then go to floating panel, click on that, and then just click out here and go up here and click close. And now you have a floating panel. Now one of the things that bothers me about the floating panel right out of the box is that it doesn't have really rounded corners. And I like to have a darker theme and I like to have some transparency. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and go to settings. Let's go ahead and switch it over to dark and apply. So now we have dark. You can see that we have a little transparency down here. Now this might work for some of y'all, but I like to have it just a little bit more transparent and I want to have different icons. So what we're going to do now is we're going to zip on over to appearance and right here are your themes. Now let's go to global themes, get new global themes, let that load up. And what you're going to want to do is do a search right here for Layan, L-A-Y-A-N, hit enter. And it'll bring up the Layan light. And this is the one you want, the Layan look and feel theme. So let's go ahead and install that. Now what this will do is it'll download the desktop theme and it will also download the desktop icons, windows, everything like that. But I don't want to use the icons. I want to go with a different set of icons. So we'll let that finish downloading and it has finished. So let's go ahead and click use. And as you can see, you've got a different look to your windows. You've got transparency on your title bars now. And if you come down here, you've got smoother looking icons over here and you've got different icons over here. But I want to change these icons up a little bit. So what I want to do is go ahead and close out of this and take a look around. I like that. So let's go ahead and go to icons. And we've got these regular icons and these right here are the ones that download with the lay and look and feel theme, but we want to get new icons. So let's click on get new. And we're going to be looking for Nordz, N-O-R-D-Z-Y. Hit enter. And these Nordz icons will pop up right here. Let's go ahead and install those. And it'll give you a big, long list. They're different colors. You can get them in purple, red, yellow. I'm just going to go with the Nordz Scion Dark. And I'm going to install those. And now they have installed. So all we have to do is click on Use. And it will change your icons up. Let's go ahead and close out of this. Close out of that. And we will come down here. You can see that you've got a nice transparency on the panel here. You've got different icons. They're professional looking. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and unpin because I don't use Discover. Now, if you're somebody that wants to have bigger icons, that's easy to fix. Just right click on your panel. Enter edit mode. And right here, you'll see panel height. Plus, minus, just go ahead and click on plus if you want those bigger. We can run them up there if you want to. Let's go ahead and close out of that and close out of that. Now that's pretty much the quickest way you can customize your desktop to give you a definite different feel. Now, if you come down here, you see that you get the lay-in icon for your application launcher. If that's not an icon you want, you can right click on it and configure application launcher. You can come up here and click on that icon and click choose and then scroll through all the icons that you have on your system and change that icon right there. Let's say you wanted to go with the bomber icon as your app menu icon. Just click on it and apply and now you've got the bomber icon as your app menu. You can go up here. You can type things in too if you want to see if there's KDE. There's a KDE right here if you want to use that or maybe you want to use this. You've got several different options that you can do here. It makes things rather simple. Now, let me show you something else. Let's go ahead and close out of that and close out of that. You can right click on there too. And where it says edit applications, you can click on that. You can come up here, find any application that you have on your system. So let's go with Dolphin. Dolphin File Manager, click on it. 
And if you see over here, it lets you know it's Dolphin File Manager. But if you look to the right, there's a little icon. You can click on that icon. Now, if you want to change the Dolphin icon to something that you want, or you just want to make it something different, you can go through all these icons and change it from right here. So let's say we go with, uh, let's just do a cloud just to show you an example. You have that picked as your new Dolphin icon. Once you have it picked, you just come over here and click Save. And if you notice, the icon has changed to a cloud. I'm going to go ahead and change it back. Let's look up. I don't know if it's named Dolphin. It is. Let's go ahead and click on that. And it's over here. And then always remember to click Save or the changes won't take effect. Click Save. And it's changed back over here. Now, if you close out of that and open this back up, You've got all these different icons. Now, another thing I want to go over, last but not least, let's go up here to settings. Let's go to splash screen. Splash screen is right here. And you also have a boot splash screen right here. Now, if you go to splash screen, it'll show you presently what your splash screen is. Now, you can change this too. If you don't, if you just want the regular breeze theme where it boots with the KDE neon, you can have that, or you can have the lay-in theme boot screen. Now, on either one of these, if you want to see what that boot screen looks like, just hit the play button, and it will pop up and show you what your boot screen is going to look like. Now, you can click with anywhere in that while it's doing it to back out of it. If you wanted to see what Breeze looks like, just click on that, and it'll pop up and show you the Breeze splash screen. Let's go ahead and close. Now you can get a different splash screen if you want. Let's go ahead and click on get new splash screen. And once you let these load up, you can also go up here. You can show the highest rated. So that way you'll find out what other people out there like and see if it's something you, you might like. You've got this. You've got the beautiful tree animation. You also have the KDE Plasma Linux for Open Minds splash screen. Let's just try something new here. Let's go ahead and... Let's pick this one. Install. It'll take just a little bit to download. And once it does, we can close out of this. And you can come down here and say, I want to pick this one right here and apply. And then you can click on it to see what it's going to play like. KDE Plasma. And it'll boot and show you right down here, Linux for Open Minds. So that is just a real quick way to customize KDE. I think we did that in less than 10 minutes. We all have different tastes. And I just wanted to do this video to show you how easy it is to make things look the way you want them to look. Don't be afraid. You can go in and make changes and everything is going to look good and it's going to look the way you want it. And do me a big favor today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. Especially like for the simple fact that the more likes I get on my channel, the more I stay in YouTube's algorithm and the information that I share with you will obviously be helpful to somebody else. Subscribe doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can become a member right here on YouTube. It's only 99 cents now to become an eBuzz Central member. We're only going to have two levels. We're going to have a top tier and then the member tier. And everything in between is going to be brought together and put into that member tier. So you'll be able to get all those perks and everything for only 99 cents a month. Less than $12 a year and you can support the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. You can also zip over, buy us a cup of coffee, throw us a donation on PayPal, or go to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. Those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.